Please hold on to the gas boxes or any loose items that could fall on the train. If an article should fall, please stay seated until the next stop and inform the nearest gas Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another live stream. Thank you all so much for joining me here on this busy let me just tell you guys right now it's a busy busy thursday august 25th 2022 we just got dropped off here by the trams from the mickey and friends parking structure pixar pals right now currently it's 7 15 p.m and i'm so happy to be here with you guys this evening we're gonna have a great night check out some of the shows check out some rides check out some new halloween updates there's new decor inside of disneyland that i got to show you so i uh, hope you guys are ready to enjoy thank you so much for joining me here and please do me the biggest favor please hit the like button on this live stream as you guys get in here let's get to 500 and uh, let's see who's in here what's up nicole hello disney mom uh brandy johnson hello m living stitch 
Catherine, hello Breezy Bear, Hyper Kid, hello Lightning, Gary, Michael, uh, Yoshi, Malibu Angel, John, Andrew, uh, Benja, good to see you guys, hello Godzilla, Joanna, there goes the uh, tram that dropped us off. Back to the stretcher, pick up some more people because there's a lot, there's some long lines to get, there's some long lines to park the car, and there's some long lines to uh, get through the security and all that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start off our adventure here at DCA, and then from there we'll park up over to Disneyland. So, a couple things I wanna check out with you guys at DCA before we uh, park up later tonight. Hello, Cassidy it says, so excited and grateful for another live stream. Awesome, Cassidy. Well, thank you for joining me here and hanging out with me here, hanging out with me, with me here this Thursday. Happy to be here with you. Jeremy says, hey, and good evening from Terry and Jeremy. Good evening, Terry and Jeremy. Thank you guys for joining me here at Disneyland today. Also, it seems like DCA is closing a little bit earlier than usual today. I think there's some type of special event. We're gonna check it out right now. And as you can see, there's already some queues here that are set up for later this evening. I'm sure there's gonna be some long lines to get back on the trams. Oh my goodness, guys. Hello, Miranda, good evening. Hello, Lisa. Puddle, Putty is back in the house. <laughs> All right. Something that I'm noticing right now is some like tents. Noticing like some tents over here by the uh, ticketing booths. Wonder what that's for. Oh, I see a sign over here too. Let's check this out. I see a long line too. You see the line is like all the way back here. Let's do some investigation. What's going on over here? And we got a super chat here from Cayenne. Sends us $10. Thank you so much, Cayenne. Cayenne sends us $10 and says, Hi, I always want to support whenever I can. Thank you for always streaming daily for all of us. Looking forward to 100K subbies. Thank you so much, Cayenne, for showing me your awesome support and being in here with me every night. I'm so happy whenever you join in here. So thank you for sending me a super chat, Cayenne. You're awesome. And I'm so, I'm so happy that you're in here this awesome Thursday. And I also want to say a big thank you here to Cactus Kitty. Sends us $10. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for the super chat. Cactus Kitty starting off this live stream in such an awesome way. Thank you so much for your super chats. You guys are awesome. So let me just show you guys what's going on here at Disney California Adventure. Seems like there's an after hours party going on. These are like local radio stations here in Southern California. There you can see there are the names right there. Ooh. So that's why the parks are closing pretty early this week, including Disneyland. But it seems like today DCA might be closing a little bit extra early. Maybe for, uh, for obviously here for the uh, after hours party that they got going on. Pretty cool. They're going to go have some some fun at DCA after hours style. So that is pretty awesome. That, ex that uh, explains here the long line. Let's go see these uh, tents that they have here. All right, so there's that. I showed you guys the line. Let's continue walking down this way a little bit. Let's go see um, what's going on here at the tents. By the way, we're just here by the ticketing booth. The lines for the ticketing booth don't look long at all. Look at this. Very, very short lines here right now. D uh, Danny Fogg, good to see you. Thank you for joining in here. Hope you're having fun on your awesome vacation. All right. So here you can see the event check-in is to the right side. And this is where the tents are, right here. Oh my goodness. Get ready for some Oogie Boogie Bash because this is what it looks like sometimes. So you guys know for Oogie Boogie Bash, sometimes there's some 
long lines that take place right at the beginning while everybody's just kind of uh, joining in here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. You're good. You're good. So, all right, let's get into DCA and uh, let's go see how busy the park is over there. You can see there's some tents, event check ins, guest services over there. And you can also see here at the Esplanade how, just how busy it is right now. Disney California Adventure. You can see Oogie Boogie. He's all finished up. It's going to be interesting to see. Hopefully, they light him up here the, tonight. We'll double check. I think that'd be pretty awesome if they turn on the lights. But there's a look at Oogie Boogie. He has all the pumpkins. I think one of the pumpkins is actually turned on already. You see the little one right next to the F? But there's a look at what he's looking like. That is so cool. Okay, now the cool thing is that, so it seems like the special event tickets are here to the right side these booths over here and then just regular guest uh, these are the booths right over here so the good thing is we can still go inside so let's go check this out let's head inside the park and uh, let's go see what's going on <laughs> thank you all so much for joining guys make sure to please hit the like button here as we are just getting started here on this awesome thursday it's a busy thursday and it's going to be a lot of fun Let's see here. Hello, Illuminated. Hello, uh, Lisa B. Good to see you in here, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hello, Joey. Hello, uh, Disney Mom. Hello, uh, Megan. Says, looking forward to you telling us how to avoid those lines and best time to get in DCA for Oogie Boogie. Awesome, Megan. That day is going to be a lot of fun. Also, that reminds me. Let me get my magic key ready to scan here. <laughs> So give me one second while I load up my magic key. So that way we can go ahead and scan into the park. Uh oh. You guys can go ahead. Oh, all right. There we go. <laughs> right when I'm at the gate, too. Your dress is really. Sorry about that, guys. Had a little uh, little loading up issue there. <laughs> that always happens to me. I always get a little excited and then I forget to uh, load up the annual pass so they can go ahead and scan it in here. But all right, we're inside of Disney California Adventure. And as you can see, they have a sign here that says DCA will close at 9 p.m. for a special event. So uh, let's walk in here and let's go see if maybe they have some some fun things going on here for the special event maybe some decor or anything like that first thing i'm noticing is that all of the fourth of july stuff is gone so that means that you know just like disneyland there's going to be some halloween decor that's going to be arriving here sometime soon this is currently what it's looking like here and buena vista street oh my goodness it's a packed house and then here you can see we got the little red car trolley. Thank you so much, Danny Fogg. Yes, definitely. Please hit the like button, everybody. All right, let's start walking towards Hollywood Land. And let's see what we can check out. What's up, John? For any of you guys that missed the intro, um, there is a special event that's going on. It's like local radio stations. They have a, uh, they uh, rented out the park maybe. We got a super chat here from Lisa B. Thank you so much, Lisa. 
says it's twenty dollars. You're awesome, Lisa. Thank you so much. Appreciate your support as always, and I'm happy that you're in here tonight. Definitely, it's gonna be a crazy and fun night. So, getting started with the craziness here at DCA. Some live music. Walking down into Hollywood land here. You have Pluto doing some meet and greets right in front of Elias and Co. Also, if it's your first time here, thank you Illuminated for reminding me. If it's your first time here, make sure that you're watching this live in 1080p resolution. That way everything looks as clear as possible for you. And uh, there's no, hopefully there's no blurriness for you. All right, here we go. Hollywood line now. So far, I'm not seeing anything special decor or anything like that for this. special event it looks pretty normal to me so I think maybe it's just the event itself there's no like you know sometimes they have photo ops or things like that but it's damn that's crazy Monsters Inc is fully covered up oh my goodness I'm gonna have to show you guys that later let's walk inside of the animation building and let's go see what's going on in here maybe we can enjoy some uh, drawing Academy or maybe some Turtle talk with Crush. Let's go see. The Sorcerer's Workshop, it's right here. I'll show it to you right now. All right, so right when you walk inside, here to the right side, that's Turtle Talk with Crush. But it's hard, we're, we're, we're a little too late for that because it's super packed in there. It's gonna be kind of hard to get a good seat. And then there's Sorcerer's Workshop right here. You have to walk down into, into there. Maybe I can go in there a little bit later. It gets a little laggy though, but I can always go. And then to the right side, here you have, um, animation academy as you can see right here so this is where they do drawing and things like that and then obviously all throughout here you can see they have just like really cool music and videos playing all throughout there it looks awesome okay we're gonna do this let's walk in here this thing's gonna start in like one minute so if I can find some some sort of decent seat, I'll stay. If it gets a little a little weird and you guys aren't able not able to see too well, then I'll go ahead and exit. But we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. Hopefully, we're able to check out some turtle talk with Crash. Uh, for the meanwhile, thank you for joining in here. Hello, Crystal, says yay. YouTube notified me today. Hello, Steve and everyone. Hello, Crystal. Good to see you in here. Thank you for joining. They just opened up the doors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so wish me your good luck here trying to find a good spot. It's gonna be a little difficult, but we'll see what we can get. Let's see. Come on. 
maybe in the tide pools? The water is fine. It's a beautiful evening here. Like I said, to those that join us, please fill in every available seat between you and the next party. Please fill in every available seat between you and the next party, please. We are expecting a full show today. We just want to make sure everybody has a good and comfortable seat. And uh, speaking of comfortable, anybody can sit down here inside our tight pools. Like I said, though, just make sure you're sitting inside the solid blue carpet. Solid blue. I consider the rainbow wavy stripy carpet the fire hazard zone. If I step on you, I get fired and I consider that a hazard. Yeah, come on in, friends. Welcome, guys. Uh, Toast is showing us. Welcome, friends. Happy to have you. Uh, like I said, if you have any seats between you and the next party, please fill them on in towards the central alleyway. Please, central alleyway. We are expecting a couple more people coming on in. We just want to make sure they have a good and comfortable seat. That's appreciated, friends. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to sit down here, too, that's perfectly fine, too. Just make sure you're sitting inside the solid blue. Yeah, come on in, friends. Welcome, guys. You're not too late to talk to that hair pound sea turtle. Doors are now closing. We'll just take a moment go nice and comfortable like no worries no worries friends and uh if you guys can't just make sure you're sitting inside the solid blue so i'd be good just go on over there please thank you thank you, you guys are all in the solid blue thanks nice. doing a great job already friends you guys are in for a whale of a show yes you did that on porpoise thank you i'll be here all week uh ladies and gentlemen very big question for you all how y'all doing this evening how you guys enjoy the air conditioning oh huh? yeah they're just the ladies I'm just the dolphins! I don't know if they sound like that, but okay, cool. <laughs> Let's get down to business, friends. Hi, everybody. My name is JP, and I want to firstly welcome you here to the Marine Life Institute of Southern California. Now, here at MLI, our core mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and release. And I've added a fourth R, and that is research. That's why our MLI scientists have created this window to the Pacific Ocean. And up here in our top right corner, friends, I want you to shout this thing out. What is this thing, folks? Yes, it's a microphone, but it's underwater, so it's a hydrophone. Helps us communicate with all the creatures of the ocean. And today we have a very special guest. Do you guys know who it is? Shout it out! Crush! Yes, that's right, it's Crush. Crush is coming on down here to ask us a few questions about the human world. In return, you can ask us some questions too. Like, uh, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Uh, should I still invest in Bitcoin? Anything goes, folks. <laughs> with that in mind, does anybody have a question already? Raise your hand. We got a couple kids. No adults? Ah, oh, there you go. Well, Crush loves talking to kids. He loves talking to all adults, too. So adults, if you have a question, the time comes, so be afraid to raise your hand. Uh, but if you uh, if you need to leave at any time, uh, Grinding Child, Inia Churro, Jimmy Plus is going off. Not a problem. Why have you exited these stories over here? That's Lindsay back there? Everybody say out of Lindsay for me? <laughs> if you guys need anything, she'll be happy to help you. All right, so it's about that time, folks. Gonna turn down that music, gonna turn on that hydrophone. Oh, forgive me, friends. Uh, Moonfish, you come on out here, boys. Forgot about these final announcements. Let's remind our friends, please put away the food. Please steal away the drinks. Refrain from the smoking. You can take all the pictures you want. We just ask that you please turn off the flash. With the flash. Give a round of applause to the Moonfish. Yeah. Uh, well, and uh, all my friends, the side pool, like I said, make sure you're fully seated inside the solid blue. Crush is up there in the EAC, and he's catching some gnarly waves. We told us to calm down at any time by saying, Hey, Crush, on the count of three. I want to hear this, folks. One, two, three. Hey, Crush! Scope out the double spinner intro by the turtle. <laughs> Cha. Oh, dude, check out all the humans in the human tank. Hello, human dudes. I JP, is that you? Hey, Crush. Dude, can you help me make some contact with the humans? Not a problem. Sweet, dude. Well, let's go front corner of this tide pool. See that mini dude that kind of like a light looking shell? Yeah, got it right here. Totally. Hey, what's your name? Aaliyah. Oh, is that Aaliyah? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Aaliyah. 
Oh, is it Talia? Yeah. Oh, cool, the Mitch Talia. Sorry, dude, I've got water in my ears, bro. <laughs> hey, Talia, let me give you a cool turtle name, okay? I'm gonna call you Tidal Wave Talia. <laughs> hey, Tidal Wave Talia, now that you have a cool turtle name, do you know how to talk like a turtle? Oh, it's okay if you don't know how. Let me teach you some phrases, okay? Hey, Talia, can you say, totally? <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> now say, sweet. Hello. Yeah, good. Okay, okay, now put those two words together and say, totally sweet. Feeding you all the answers. <laughs> oh, dude, the tea, rock on. Wait, Auntie, what's your name? Nancy. Oh, nice to meet you, Tia Nancy. <laughs> and how many little ones are you in charge of today? Just this one. Oh, that's awesome. I have 65 of my own. <laughs> yeah, you should try that. <laughs> Catch some food. <laughs> hey, but I bet Talia asks you like tons of questions, right? Yeah. Oh, totally, yeah. dude. You have all the answers, right? Yep. Yeah, make one too, man. <laughs> hey, well, check it out, humans. Info's why I'm here today. My youngest son, Squirt, he has a lot of questions about you humans, but sadly, I don't have all the answers. So I'm here to get the answers from you. Hey, if you human dudes can help me out, say chaw. 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 Dude, you too totally rock. Oh, dude, we got some primo level turtle talkers out there. For those of you that do not know, when a sea turtle says, you so totally rock, you respond by saying, dude, really loud. So, you so totally rock! Excellent! What totally brings us to Squirt's question numero uno? Squirt was totally wondering how many of you human dudes know how to swim? So, if you know how to swim, totally raise your fins. A lot out there, dude. Hey, well, let's go right next to you, third row first, Noggin. Not a problem. Hey, what's your name, Bruchacho? <laughs> Marco? Oh, nice to meet you, Marco, dude. Hey, Malibu Marco, where do you totally come from, dude? Wait, what? Oh, where do you come from? Uh, Ontario, California. Oh, House of Surf in the Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Check out those Ontario waves. Oh, hey, Marco, when you get a chance to go swimming, do you like to go fast, or do you take it more like nice and easy? I can't take it like that. Alright, take it, Marco. Dude, I can see you now. Just flip back onto your shell. Hey, Crush, 
That kid up front has a question. Oh, totally, dude. Hey, front middle of this time. Well, the dude in the white shell's about to explode, bro. <laughs> totally. Hey, what's your name, dude? Oh, nice to meet you, Kawaii Cali. Hey, what was your question, dude? Go for it. Why can you say Bruno? Uh, oh, why can you say Bruno? Yes. Uh, probably because you make the B sound, <laughs> and then like an er sound, and then you just think of the number one in Spanish. <laughs> you know. There you go. Man. Well, uh, I think JP was telling me that like we're not supposed to talk about some dude named Bruno. Is that right? Yes. Oh, dude, that makes sense, man. Yeah, I have this blue whale friend named Bruno down here. Um, we don't talk about him much. He's got some major boundaries. <laughs> but hey, if I see Bruno, I'll tell him you said hi, okay? Okay. Sweet. Dude, you so totally rock! Dude! Oh, you human dudes don't even play games. Bro. Games? Games? Oh, don't worry. Pick me, pick me, pick me! I totally pick you. Hey, let's play hide and seek, okay? You hide, and we'll totally seek you out, okay? So humans, close your lids nice and tight. You do want to peek you, man. I'm watching. Okay, don't worry. Go find a really good spot to hide, okay? Okay, open up. All right, open your eyes, human dudes. Let's see who we can find. Shout it out when you see somebody. Oh, oh Dory down here. Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, Dory came over. Now we're finding Squirt. I'm starting to do an epic trilogy. <laughs> I don't see Squirt either. Uh, okay, I guess they're too good for me. All in all the ocean free! Yeah. Oh, no, you are all here, dude. Say hi to the humans. Hello, dude. Excellent game, human dudes! You so totally rock! Yeah. Hey, who else had a question for me? Dudes, raise those fins way up high, man. Oh, we got a few, dude. Hey, well, let's go top middle of this side pool. There's a mini in like a short sleeping dark show with a red, white, and blue lid. I got it right here. Totally. Hey, what's your name, bro? I'm Logan. Oh, cool to meet you, Lou, our Logan, dude. Hey, what was your question, Logan? Where's your favorite place to swim? Oh, that's a tough one, man. I mean, cool thing about us sea turtles, we're totally migratory, dude. So we can to hit all like the best surf spots in the ocean, but I have to say the best one has got to be the North Shore of Oahu, dude. Hey, I got some 40 footers that'll just get you pitted, bro. It's excellent. <laughs> hey, what about you? Where do you like to swim? Um, at my pool and at San Clemente Beach. Aw, oh, dude, I dig the San Clemente, man. I got some awesome, like, got them cottons where they got, like, that single peak beach break. It's totally sweet, man. Hey, but do me a favor, Logan. Just make sure you always have a swimming buddy, okay? Okay. Okay, that's good, man. Yeah, that mini dude Nemo, he didn't have a swimming buddy one time. He got lost for like an hour and 47 minutes. <laughs> Actually, I was swimming around with Nemo the other day. We found this weird human thingy, but I don't really know what it is, but you know. Hey, have you ever seen one of these, Logan, dude? Yeah. Oh, well, what is it? A football helmet. Oh, a football helmet. What's it for? Football. Oh, oh, so I put it on my foot? No, you put it on your head. Oh, oh why do you put it on your head? To make sure that your head doesn't get hurt when you play football. Oh, I get it, dude. It's like a shell, but for your head. That's cool. Yeah, it's a shell, not for your head. <laughs> Oh that dude is crappy. <laughs> you so totally rock! Yeah. Hey, who else is it? man. Oh, uh, that's any questions from the channel. Uh, oh, let's go second row first, Noggin. Back over on this side. Yeah, I think I see it right here. Hey, man, it's too What's your name? What's your favorite chemical? <laughs> All business, 
rock guy. <laughs> Oh, my favorite character. Oh, wow, that's a tough one, man. I mean, I tell JP he's kind of a character. So probably JP, man. No, no, you do that. Like, which one's your favorite character? It's Elsa. Oh, what, what is Elsa like? She's frozen. <laughs> My choice. <laughs> well, good for her. <laughs> hey, check it out. Dory's back with Destiny. <laughs> well, let's call him over here. Everyone shout Dory Destiny. Dory Destiny. Oh, Destiny, welcome. Having a righteous conversation with the humans, but now that you're here, could you like teach them how to speak some whale, little blue? Destiny could teach them. She taught me. Sweet. Oh, she's here. I am here. Wow. Well, that's freaky. Okay, everybody, repeat after me. Hello, whale. All together. How they do? That was really amazing, everybody. I even heard some orca accents. That's super advanced. Uh, that's probably Marco. He's from Ontario. He's in the oh. Wasn't that pretty awesome? Turtle Talk with Crush. Totally unexpected I was even able to get a good seat. So I was lucky enough to get right in the front row and uh, there, was one, there was one opening just for me. So I was lucky enough to go over and squeeze in. I hope you guys enjoyed that beautiful Turtle Talk with Crush. It was so funny. So, okay. We'll go ahead and check up here on some of the wait times and uh, let's see, let's see what, uh, what else we can enjoy before we go ahead and uh, hop on over to Disneyland. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and check something here real quick. So let's start making our way here outside of the uh, animation building. 
So let's exit here through the doors. And also, thank you so much for joining me here this evening. Everybody, please hit the like button on this live stream. I would greatly appreciate it. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Violet Hunter. Uh, Marissa, hello, Purple. Uh, Tinkerbell, John, Gary, Inge, Hunter. We got a super chat here from Lisa B. Lisa B, thank you so much once again. You are so awesome, Lisa. Sends me another $20 super chat. That is so nice of you. Okay, thank you so much, Lisa, as always, for your awesome support, and uh, I appreciate you sending me that. Thanks, very nice of you. Okay, right now I'm here inside off the page, just doing a little, a little shortcut type exit here. Man, there's. So many cool things in there. And I also got a super chat here from Osana. Send us two dollars. Thank you so much, Osana. I love Turtle Talk with Crush. I love that show. Awesome. Well, I'm happy that you enjoyed Osana, the Turtle Talk with Crush show here at Disneyland. It was pretty awesome. Hey, 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 how are you? How are you? Can I give you a hug? Oh my gosh. I've been watching your lives for like the longest now. Oh, we're so happy for you. Okay, we got Elizabeth and her awesome friend here visiting Hi. from Alhambra, yes. not too far away. No. How's your guys' night going so far? So good. We went, we came in the morning and then we went home, took a nap, and now we're back. There you go. Sometimes you got to get a little refresher. Oh right there. yeah, and that was so good. There you go. You just finished up with the uh, yes, with the did. drawing. What'd you draw? Oh, this Grogu. This is his, and this is mine. So this is his, <laughs> yeah. and this one's yours. This one's mine. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. You guys we did a good so job. Hard. That's Not a really good job, drawer, actually. But hey, don't worry. Mine always awesome. looks weird too. <laughs> cool. All right. Try to see you later. later. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Thank, thank you. you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Elizabeth and your awesome friend for saying hi. It was nice to meet you guys. All right, let's see here. You guys can see there's some uh, music going on over in uh, Hollywood Studios. Let's go take a quick look over there just to see what's going on. Let's go check it out. And also, might as well show you guys the uh, huge construction that's going on here in uh, Monsters Inc. You guys can see they got lights and everything over here. Wow.
got a super chat here from Kathy. Sends us five dollars. Thank you so much, Kathy. And says thank you for your awesome. Thank you, you're awesome. You give great information. Thank you so much, Kathy. You're so awesome. Thank you for supporting me and sending me a super chat. I appreciate your your support here. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Definitely, definitely having a a great evening here at DCA, and uh, it just it just feels so lively here especially over on that side of town by Monsters Inc. Definitely with the live music and everything. So thank you so much, uh, Kathy. Appreciate you being in here. Okay. Hello, Misty Rose. Thank you for joining me here tonight. Let's go over and check out the... Uh, uh, we're going to check something here real quick. Give me one second. Kira says... Will you be at Disney in September? Absolutely, Kira. So, if you're visiting, I'll definitely see you here. All right. Walking by Carthay Circle here on the left side. Heather says hi from Washington State. What's up, Heather? Thank you for joining here this joining me here this evening. Right now, we're currently inside Disney California Adventure. We'll be park hopping in a little bit. Right now, we're just kind of walking through here. <laughs> Malibu Angel says 50 away from 500 likes. Thank you so much, everybody that has hit the thumbs up on this live stream. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for, for hitting the little like button. I appreciate you. Here's a little meet and greet that's going on here by Carte Circle with Goofy. That is so cool. And also, I believe that now the, uh, you know how we get the uh, the free, what is it called, photo pass? I believe we can start using it today. I don't know, I would have to go over and double check with one of the photo pass photographers just to get some info on that, but that's pretty awesome because you know, once all the Halloween stuff comes around, like the pumpkin, it'd be cool to get a, a nice photo taken there. Right now we're walking into the Grizzly Peak area. Check out the line here for the churros. For uh, Willie's churros. My goodness. Let's go see what Soren's looking like. Wouldn't it be pretty cool to get on some Soren right now? Let's go check it out. Smoke Jumpers Grill here to the right side. merch shop right in front of Soren and then here to the left side we have Soren around the world Megan says I bet that I bet that's for the fluffernutted churro you know the fluffernutted churro is actually so good one of my favorites all right let me see here what I can do standby looks a little crazy but give me one second here let's see what we can uh Give me one second. Stand by, everybody. Let's see what we can uh, do here. Let's check the uh, lightning lane situation.
All right, so thank you for being patient here with me. Right now we're trying to see if maybe we can uh, get a lightning lane for this ride. So thank you so much for being patient and waiting here with me. I'm just uh, on the app here, it's, it's moving a little slow, but I'm definitely trying. So thank you for, uh, for waiting here. But let's see, maybe hopefully we can go ahead and get a lightning lane here for this ride so we can get on it a little bit faster. Because we do have to park, park, hop, park hop over to Disneyland here sometime soon. I just realized the music they play here is pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you so much for being patient. Regular standby is a 45 minute wait. It's a, it's a solid wait right there. So let's see what's the lightning lane experience. I was trying to work it and um, it was being so slow. So thank you so much Puddles for helping me out here with the, uh, with the uh, lightning lane because I would not have been able to do it otherwise. Thank you so much. And it's still really slow here, but it's okay. Nonetheless, we're inside of the lightning lane here for soaring around the world. So I hope you guys are ready to enjoy the awesome <laughs> hope you guys are ready to enjoy the awesome uh, ride here and then after this we'll go ahead and park up over to Disneyland so we we have a little bit of time here to kill might as well take advantage and get on the uh, get on the uh, get on the ride so once again thank you so much puddles big thumbs up for the for the man the myth the legend over there <laughs> uh, let's see here what's up here uh, hello uh, Andres Torres what's up May May says, I remember last time I waited in this line for the, it was, it was 90 degree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I definitely can feel your pain. I've done it before. Not 90 minutes, but I think close to it. And yeah, when it gets hot, it definitely can be a brutal wait. Uh, good evening, Oreo Dude. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, Kira says, how's the weather here there tonight? So right now, it's uh, 75 degrees. And obviously here on the inside, it's nice and air-conditioned, so it feels great. Overall, I didn't, I didn't even bring an extra sweater or anything like that. I just decided to just wear a t-shirt and some shorts because as I start walking around and then I have to go here and I have to go there, I tend to, you know, get a little warm. So I didn't end up bringing my sweater, but... It was a hot day today, guys. If you were here at the parks earlier today, definitely it was a, it was a warm day. Stutterella! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. My amazing designer friend, Stutterella. If you guys haven't checked out her work, head on over to Instagram. Let her know that Theme Park Steve sent you. She's sending me this amazing looking shirt Kai showed it to me a little bit earlier today and it I can't wait to share it with you guys so thank you so much Donarella I'll definitely be sharing it with everybody on here um, I think Oogie Boogie Bash that's the day that I'll go ahead and uh, let everybody see it so I can't wait thank you so much 
and I, I got a super chat here from Kelly Gregory sent us five dollars. Hey Steve, I'm wa I'm watching with my son Chase. Thank you for sharing Disneyland with us. We appreciate you. Well, thank you so much, Kelly Gregory, and your awesome son Chase. You guys are awesome. Thank you for sending me a super chat, and hope you are ready to enjoy some soaring over California, soaring around the world here. In just a couple minutes, we're in the lightning lane, so it's definitely going to be a little bit faster, a lot faster than the regular standby, because that was a 45-minute wait. And right now, we're here in the lightning lane, so thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you for your support. Daniel says, hey, uh, Steve, how's the wind so far as far uh, for fireworks? You know, I think there's a very good chance that we're going to get some fireworks here tonight. A very good chance for some fireworks so not too windy not too windy let me double check i oh, you know i don't get i don't get service on my other one but i'll go ahead and check um i'll go ahead and check uh later on but the wind is not too bad thank you today we're going to concourse number two and as you can see that's how fast the lightning lane is moving today definitely doing a great job so, shout out to the Genie Plus. Definitely doing its good good work today. After this, we'll be park hopping over to Disneyland and uh, checking out the parade over there. And fireworks too, and then Phantasmic after that. Uh, Andres says, hello Steve, watching here with my family. And you have to eat a churro for us. <laughs> Absolutely, Andres. Thank you for watching with your awesome family. And I'll definitely do my best to enjoy a churro in your guys' honor. Sonoma Steph, thank you for joining me here this evening. Hello, uh, Elvria. Can't wait to meet you, Steve. We are at Disneyland. Awesome. Have an amazing time and hopefully we cross we cross paths and uh, we get to say hi to each other hello john hello queen honey bear gary eric malibu angel uh dimitri says better to use disney plus in the middle of the day or at night definitely in the morning actually i am obviously in the morning the wait times are are relatively low either way but uh in the morning just know that like like after 2 p.m. your return time will get a little bit longer. Like you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer to return to the ride, so keep that in mind. We got a super jet here from uh, Taylor A. Send us $10, thank you so much, Taylor. Just a little thank you for keeping me entertained during my work days and making them that much less stressful because this helps me feel like a kid again. I appreciate you and the stream so much. That's beautiful, Taylor. Well, thank you for watching, and I'm happy that uh, you enjoy watching my live streams here. Thank you for supporting me and making these streams possible. You're awesome, Taylor. And uh, I can't wait to share with you all of the Halloween live streams that I have coming up and all the other fun and exciting things that I haven't, that I haven't even shared with all of you. I mean, it's going to... These next couple months, guys, are going to be some of the best moments here on the live streams and I, I'm so excited to share them with you guys I'm serious guys these next upcoming months they're going to be spectacular a lot of fun stuff coming up um, Sharon says this ride legit makes me happy cry it's such a great ride definitely Sharon it's, really, it's, it's a really cool one actually I like it a lot one of my favorites Um, let's see here. Dimitri says, thank you. Oh, where did you come up? Dimitri says, thank you. I will be there in October for my son's birthday. Awesome, Dimitri. Well, you're going to have an awesome time here for your son's birthday. Happy early birthday to him. Uh, Maricel says, can't wait to see all the Halloween stuff. Awesome, Maricel. I can't wait to share it with you. Also, right now, we're at about 80% here on the battery, so... We're definitely good to go until later 
this evening. Also, another priority for me is getting on the train. I really need to get on that train tonight because, yeah, haven't been able to do the train. So hopefully tonight we get lucky. We're able to get on the, uh, the train. Kay says it's packed tonight. Absolutely. I can't wait to go over to Disneyland and uh, go see how crazy it is over there. We'll definitely be showing you how, how busy it is over on that side of town. That's right, Corella. Hopefully later tonight we get on that awesome train. Lisa B says Soren is one of my favorite rides. Me too, Lisa. I'm right there with you. One of my favorites too. Malibu says fingers crossed a legendary conductor will be there tonight. Hopefully we get some we get the legendary experience once again. You know. That, that was like a, you know, one of those unicorn experiences. But hopefully tonight we're able to check some, we're, we're able to go and uh, <laughs> hopefully see the legend once again. Hello, M Emberly. Thank you so much for joining and watching my live stream. Kelsey says, hello, Steve, from beautiful Mexico. What's up, Kelsey? Good to see you in here. Hello, sprinkle of us. Madeline says, this is one of my favorite rides got on here. Awesome. One of my favorites, too. We got Jennifer says, hey, Steve, from Jen and Grady in NC. I love Disneyland. Thank you for doing what you do. Awesome, Jennifer. Well, thank you for watching and appreciate your support. Also, guys, how many likes are we at? We're getting close to, I think we reached uh, 500, right? Hopefully we get close here to, uh, to the 1,000 mark. Or I guess let me know here on the, let me know the update in the comments. All right, here we go. We're moving now. We're going to see the pre-show. And then from there, we'll go ahead and uh, get on the ride. 586, awesome. Thank you, Malibu Angel. Okay, so let's start working on that 1,000 now. And thank you, everybody, for hitting the like button all 593 of you guys thank you so much for supporting me and hitting the thumbs up on this live you guys are awesome
Hats and of course these little beads. <laughs> Next, fasten your seatbelts and steering up into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckle. That's worked out. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have the fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival. Okay, up to review. That is, seat, seat belt, carry on the safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Yeah. Have a nice one. How's it going, aviators? Today we're going to start with my row one, follow them in row two, follow them in row three, row one, come on in. en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños.
think it lags a little bit here at the exit, so just hang in there if it does lag a little bit. Okay, let me know if you guys can hear me again. Here on my end, it says that we are good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the awesome soaring around the world, right? Right now, we're gonna run, <laughs> we're not gonna run, but we're gonna go as fast as we can over to uh, Disneyland now. That's where we're gonna go over and check out the Main Street Electrical Parade. This park is gonna close because of that uh, special event that's happening. So that's it for, for DCA. We got to do some turtle talk, check out some updates over there at Monsters, did some soaring. Thank you, Puddles. And now we're gonna head over to Disneyland. So the parade is just about to start in about one minute over at, uh, it's a small world. And then eventually it's gonna make its way over towards uh, Main Street. That's where we're gonna enjoy it. So let's go. There we go. This is what uh, DCA is looking like. And this, I think there's gonna be like a, a, a show of roller color like at midnight sometime. There's like three world of color shows today. We got a super chat here from Queen J Ray. Sends us $5. Thank you so much, Queen J Ray. She says, thank you so much for helping me through so many re really tough nights. You and Kai make me feel like there is so much good in the world. That's so beautiful, Queen Ray, uh, J. Ray. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'm happy that I can be with here. I can be here with you in the live streams and share with you the uh, beautiful Disneyland. So thank you so much, Queen uh, J. Ray. I hope that uh, things get better. Okay. There's one thing I want to show you here before we leave. Boogie boogie. And then also, let's take a look to see if they turned them on tonight. So check this out here in the back. You can see Oogie Boogie as you leave. And we also got a super chat here from Kimmy G. What's up, Kimmy? Send us $5. Hey, Steve. How are you? How are you? Disney friend absolutely amazing absolutely amazing what a what a time and what a time to be here at disneyland resort i'm so happy that you guys are here supporting me and watching my live stream thank you so much for spending your time with me thank you kimmy i'm doing amazing and uh if you're just coming in don't you worry our night's kind of just getting started to be honest with you so thank you for being in here. 
There we got Mr. Oogie Boogie there at the uh, at the back of the Disney California Adventure entrance. It looks pretty cool, right? Man, guys, that's, as Halloween gets closer and closer, I get so excited for all the the fun activities that are that are going to be taking place. It really is going to be something special here. So, all right, let's go over to Disneyland now. All right, so here's a look at the Esplanade. Things have kind of died down here for the uh, check-in at the at the booths. This is for all that that special event that's happening. So this would be the check-in area right here. We got a super chat here from Monica. Thank you so much, Monica. Sends us two dollars. Hi from a former cast member. Hi from a former cast member and a new subscriber. What's up, Monica? Thank you so much for being in here with me and thank you for subscribing. I'm happy that you found my YouTube channel and I'm happy that you're here spending your evening with me. Okay. The thing is though, just as we predicted, seems like Disneyland is gonna get busy. Just based off the lines here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's hop in the shortest one I can find. And uh, let's go ahead and scan into the park. All right, we'll do this one here. Ah, this one seems to be moving pretty quick. We'll hop in this one here. Okay. A lot of people are gonna uh, be uh, finishing off tonight here at Disneyland too. And we got a super chat here from Joshua. Wow, Joshua, thank you for your $20 super chat. That is so awesome. I appreciate you. Hey, Steve, we love your videos. Can you give a shout out to my daughter today? It's her birthday. She's 18 and her name is Savannah. Wow. What an awesome special birthday there happy birthday savannah your awesome dad sends you a big hug and a big happy birthday all the way here from disneyland so may you have the best day ever and god bless you with so many more birthdays to come so thank you for your super chat joshua happy birthday savannah once again we're gonna go ahead and be scanning in here to disneyland so let me not make the same mistake and let me get my my annual pass here ready to go <laughs> because sometimes it takes a while to load up. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, give me one second, guys. Uh, we're going to scan into the park and uh, we should be good to go. Scan inside of Disneyland now. So let's go over to our spot so we can uh, watch the parade. Here comes a train. definitely want to get on the train here later this evening oh wow just as you're walking in you can see all of the orange Halloween decor that has gone up look at that it's all throughout the buildings we'll get a closer look here but you can kind of see it here in a little bit
All right, so we're gonna walk a little bit down this way. The parade started, but hasn't made its way here to Main Street just yet, which is good because that gives us time to uh, come and sit down here. So we can go ahead and enjoy the parade. All right, so I think it's made its way by the castle because it's still not here on Main Street, but uh, for any of you guys that are just joining, right now we're here inside Disneyland. What's up, Angie? So uh, make sure that you're watching in a 1080p, 1080p resolution. 1080p resolution. And do me the biggest favor, please hit the like button on this live stream. The parade's gonna be arriving in just a little bit. And uh, we'll go ahead and enjoy the whole parade and then uh, after that, watch some fireworks and then see what else we get into. So, uh, welcome everybody. Oh, and while I'm here, let me show you all the decor that's here on Main Street. Look at that. So you can see there's pumpkins. Check that out. There's pumpkins right on top of uh, Emporium. You can see all of the flags and stuff that are all the flags and stuff that are all throughout this area here. The pumpkin is still not here. The Mickey pumpkin is still not here, but you can see that they're definitely getting ready here to bring the pumpkin any day now. So it looks good. It's all throughout Main Street, even here in this area too. So lots of orange. Looks nice. So I can't wait to give you the update where the uh, Mickey pumpkin arrives. I think that's gonna be a very special big day very very big day okay how many likes are we at by the way let me go ahead and uh, grab a seat here I'll go ahead and uh, um, let me know how many likes we're at we're, I'm gonna grab a seat real quick and then I'll go ahead and talk to you guys some more meanwhile the parade gets here goodness Trey T Trey T that is so nice of you thank you so much for sending me such a huge super chat Trey sends me $50 and says thanks for awesome streams again enjoy mint julep and beignets on me Trey T thank you so much some mint julep sound amazing right now actually so thank you for sending that my way and I'm so happy that you are enjoying my live streams and you're in here watching and right now we're gonna enjoy something that in a couple days from now we're not gonna be able to enjoy no more so we're really trying to see this parade as many times as we can including the Disneyland Forever Fireworks show as well because come September 1st that'll be the last day and then who knows when it's gonna come back so Trey T thank you so much and uh, thank you I'm, I'm so lucky to have your support thank you Trey Violet says 800 and 804 likes. That is so awesome. Hopefully by the time the parade gets here, we can get to 1,000. I think that'd be pretty cool if we can get this live stream here on this Thursday night to 1,000 likes. That'd be pretty awesome. Look at those beautiful balloons go by. Sandy says, Steve, what's the coldest temperature you have experienced? Um, you know, the answer might shock you, but it was actually when I went to Florida uh, for my first time. I've been to Miami, I've been to um, Orlando, but it was when I went to Florida for my first time. It was so cold, <laughs> you guys wouldn't believe me. But anyway, I'll tell you guys more about that after the parade. Enjoy the Main Street Electro Parade. You can see here comes the lights are turning on right now. So enjoy everybody. Please hit the like button. Make sure that you're watching in 1080p and here comes a parade. Enjoy.
to whom Purim sparkle delight, bringing wonder and joy to the young and the young at heart. Alive with imagination, it continues to grow, welcoming new friends and stories, inspiring new generations, and shining into our hearts with its heritage of hope. For its magic celebrates togetherness and the spirit of Walt Disney's words that welcome the world. To all who come to this happy place,
So as you just saw, the uh, Main Street Electrical Parade just ended. Well, it's literally about to end right now. That is the final float right there. And then uh, we should get fireworks here in about 20-ish minutes. At 9.30, everything should be uh, ready to go. So we're just going to go ahead and continue to just kind of wait it out here in this area. And um, just wait until the uh, fireworks go ahead and get started. We'll watch them over here by Main Street. And... Um, after this, I think we should have time to maybe do one ride and then from there we'll go over and watch some Fantasmic. So, um, tonight the park is closing at 11, but uh, we will definitely have time to um, watch, uh, check out some new. We'll definitely have enough time to watch and check out some uh, Halloween decor and things like that. Um, but for now, I'll go ahead and read you guys' chat. Let's see. 
what you guys are saying. Uh, make sure to please hit the like button on this live stream as uh, we wait here for the fireworks to get started. The, the flags are moving a little bit, but... Y Samuel, muchas gracias por decir hola y ahí los vemos. Ok, gracias. Saludos a tu esposa. Salud. Sí, a Cancún. Sí, también nos miramos en vivo. Muchas gracias. Ahí los vemos, gracias. Es tu esposa. Muy bien. 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 Muy Awesome. Meeting so many awesome of you guys here at the parks always is always uh, so awesome to say hi to you. Okay, so right now we're just, uh, you can see all the, all the music is, is, is uh, turned off now. And we can go ahead and uh, see all the lights are on now. A lot of people are, are uh, entering Main Street. You guys know yesterday was a little bit empty on Main Street, but look at this. Oh my goodness, definitely you can feel the crowds here today. It's a busy Thursday. I even put it in my title of <laughs> my live stream. I'm like, it's a busy Thursday here at Disneyland Park today. But nonetheless, I'm grateful to be here and be able to share with you guys the beautifulness that uh, we're about to see. We just saw the parade from a stunning view. From a, I had a really good spot for you guys to enjoy the parade. And uh, now we're going to enjoy the fireworks show here in just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and check this out at about 830. It's going to start. So um, let's see here. And Lisa presses, Steve, do you have a favorite Disney movie? You know, I, I wouldn't be able to narrow it down just to one, but I really enjoy watching um, Toy Story 2. I like, I, I really like watching uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. Um, let's see, what else? I, I, Tarzan's another movie that I enjoy watching, Pinocchio. You know, just the other day, me and Kyla, we were watching Snow White, like the original Snow White movie, and that movie's actually pretty cool. So um, I definitely enjoy, enjoy checking out some of those classic movies on, on Disney+. Plus. Um, hello, Ariel. Good to see you in here. Um, let's see. I'm just reading your guys' chat. Lotus says, you had a, a great spot for the parade. This is a great spot for the fireworks, Steve. Thank you, Lotus. Well, they should get started here in a couple minutes. And uh, it's a really good view. You'll be able to see the projections on uh, Main Street. You can see them here on the left side. And then... Of course, on the right side, and you can see already they have Halloween decor that has popped up over here. You can see pumpkins right on top of Main Street. Right now, we're just waiting here for the big Mickey pumpkin that's going to arrive right here. Right here in this area. That's where the, the big Mickey pumpkin is going to be arriving sometime soon. So right now, we're just waiting for the uh, pumpkin to arrive. One of these days. Maybe. I thought it was honestly going to be this morning, to be honest with you. I had like all my my bets put down that this morning it was gonna be here, but it didn't, it didn't arrive. So I feel like sometime soon, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe next week, it'll be arriving. For sure before September 1st. Sophia says, I can't wait for fireworks. Awesome, Sophia, we're gonna really, really love it. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Women says, every time Steve does not see the, uh, what was it? It was here. Every time Steve does not see the great pumpkin, I am so sad for him. <laughs> yeah. Soon though. Soon the, the pumpkin will be getting here. How many likes are we at, by the way? If somebody can give me an update on the likes, that'd be awesome. Hello, Miss Oliver Life. Good to see you in here. Thank you for joining. Um... We have Matt and Mitch all the way from Rancho Cucamonga. So excited and thank you for keeping us up to date with all the Disney deeds. Of course, man. Well, thank you for being in here and happy that you're enjoying all of the uh, awesome nighttime shows here 
at Disneyland. After this one, we'll go over and check out some Fantasmic at 1030. We'll watch the second showing of it. 1000. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, uh, Jess. Perfect. Hopefully, we can get to 1500 likes here by the time that we watch uh, Fantasmic. So, I appreciate everybody in here. Hit the little thumbs up. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. We got Jesse says, What event is going on today? So, let me show you the photo just in case you missed it. I posted it here on my Instagram. Let me hear. Here it is right here. So it's um, like local radio stations. They are, um, they have the whole Disney California adventure to themselves. Uh, the park's now closed, but you can see down here, those are the radio stations that will be uh, hosting the event over at DCA. So uh, that's the event that's happening. That's why DCA was a little cuckoo and you know, uh, that's why we had to leave it a little bit early. Either way, we were going to see the parade. So either way, we had, to, we had to come to Disneyland at some point. But And for anybody that was uh, trying to be there a little bit later in the evening, there was some type of special event that was going on. So let's see here. Also, it seems like I have some type of lightning lane here. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what it is just yet. But I do have a lightning lane for a really cool ride, so I'll surprise you guys a little bit later and let you know which lightning lane I, I, I have here. And I think we might be able to do it Good evening, friends. before we watch Our Fantasmic. Our nighttime spectacular Disneyland Forever will begin in just 15 minutes. Thank you for joining us. Buenas noches, amigos. Nuestro gran espectáculo nocturno, Disneyland Forever, comenzará en tan solo 15 minutos. Gracias por acompañarnos. All right, in about 15 minutes, guys. Perfect. So just 15 minutes here to go, and then we'll watch the uh, fireworks. Seems like nothing is canceled, which is always a big thumbs up. So let's just hope it stays that way. The winds aren't too crazy, so I think we, uh, I think we should get fireworks. Let's see here. Thank you, Kimmy. And um, A Class Yellow says, Hi, Steve. Oh my, I'm here this evening. It's crazy at DCA. I'm just coming into Disneyland. It's so insane how many people are here. I totally get you, A Class Yellow. It's definitely a busy, busy night here at the parks. And um, everybody that wasn't able to stay at DCA, obviously now everybody's here at Disneyland, so Disneyland definitely feels busy. I wonder what the wait times are looking like. Let's take a quick look here. Let's go on to the uh, Disneyland app, and let's go check what do the wait times look like. Let's see. Let's get an update here on some wait times. All right, so obviously all of the uh, attractions here in Fantasyland, those are currently down. You know, it's not too crazy. Dumbo's only 15 minutes? I don't know, for some reason I have a feeling that that maybe some of these wait times might be a little off. Cause look at this, even even uh, even Space Mountain is only 40 minutes. I don't know, 35 for Star Tours. I mean, it's a little bit higher than usual, but still nothing, nothing out of the, or nothing too crazy. 20 minutes. Wow, look at that. Finding Nemo, it's less than what it was yesterday. Yeah, she was 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, thank you. What's up, Gary? All right, so um, let's see here. Let's continue looking at these uh, wait times to see what what these things are looking like. Uh, lunch. So we're just waiting here a little bit and uh, just waiting for the uh, um, fireworks to get started. So thank you for being patient and waiting here with me. Uh, let's see. Let's continue looking at these wait times just to see how crazy things are looking like. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, look at that. Small road's over at five minutes still. Storybook is at 15. Space is at 40 still. Tomorrowland Station's at 15. Big Thunder's at 45. Jungle Cruise is at 30 minutes. A little bit, a little bit busy there. What is down here? Oh, Indiana Jones is down. So that one's temporarily down. 15 minutes there. Splash Mountain is 35 minutes. Uh, let's see, which one's this one here? Winnie the Pooh's only 5 minutes. Oh, we definitely need to check that one out at some point, I think. Rise of the Resistance is already closed up for the night. Millennium Falcon is at 35. Let's see, which other ride should we check out? Let's see if we can check out DCA. Um, Incredicoaster is 20 minutes. That's, this is over at DCA. Radiator's at 75. Thirty minutes for this one here, Guardians. I know. There's a look at some of the wait times here. All right. Eight more minutes until this thing gets going here. I know right now. If <laughs> the problem we're gonna have is the same thing as like. There's so much to do yet, such little time. Because the park does close at 11 tonight again. So we'll definitely try to squeeze in here as many as we can. Maybe after the fireworks are done, I'll go ahead and uh, maybe knock out one or two. I know for sure one, because I have a lightning lane to use. But we'll see on the others, just depending on how much time we have. What's up, Julian? Good to see you in here. Hello. Um, uh, Miley says, what are we watching? So the fireworks are going to start at about... 10 no 9 30 so in a couple minutes here the fireworks should get started uh hello pink panda says uh, hey steve i hope you have a lovely night say hi to kai and lady dior for me of course <laughs> let me see if i got some some lady dior, dior pics here to show you uh lately we've been having some photo shoots with her let me see
All right, here's one from last night. <laughs> we were we were just taking photos of her. Um, let's see. Here's another one. Here's another one. She's growing. She's she's staying nice and short, but she's definitely growing since uh, a couple. Since you know, obviously, since we got her, she's 11 weeks now, so she's definitely growing. She's so cute. So yeah, I'll show you guys more later on if I if I if I can uh, if I can look for more. I know I have a couple more here, but. Thank you. Good evening, friends. In just a few minutes, the lights will be dim, so you may fully experience our nighttime spectacular. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, please remain in the same area until the lights return to normal. Thank you. Buenas noches, amigos. En tan solo unos minutos, las luces se atenuarán para que puedan disfrutar plenamente de nuestro gran espectáculo nocturno. Por su seguridad y la seguridad de quienes los rodean, por favor, permanezcan en su lugar hasta que las luces sean restauradas. Gracias. All right, cool. Four minutes until the fireworks get going. Seems like nothing got canceled. So we are good to go here for Disneyland Forever Fireworks. Remember, this show's leaving in a couple days. September 1st, that'll be the last day. So really trying to enjoy uh, the fireworks show here as much as we can because um, it'll be gone after September 1st. And then September 2nd, uh, Halloween Screams fireworks will start. So we'll still get a fireworks show, but it'll, it'll be a different one, obviously. But make sure that you guys are watching in 1080p resolution, of course. Do me the biggest favor. Please hit the like button. And more importantly, enjoy the show here. That's going to start in a couple minutes. About three minutes or so. Jay-Z says, hello, Steve. When are you planning on going to Oogie Boogie Bash? Opening night, I will be there. So I hope to see every single one of you guys there for Oogie Boogie Bash. And, uh, you know, when I was walking into uh, DCA today, when I saw, like, the crowds and all over the Esplanade, I, got, I just got even more excited for uh, opening night of Oogie Boogie Bash because that's how it gets sometimes. It gets kind of busy, uh, you know, right at the beginning of, of the, uh, when the event starts. But anyway, yeah, opening night. Opening night will be there. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Vanessa, you are so awesome. I got a super chat here from Vanessa, sent a small gift to show my appreciation. You always give us the best live stream, so you keep it up. Thank you, Vanessa. My true pleasure to be here with you, and uh, I hope you're uh, ready to enjoy the fireworks show here in just a little bit, like two more minutes. So thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Uh, Leanne's watching all the way from Australia. That is so awesome. Huge shout out to everybody in Australia, Canada. Um, what else do you got? New Zealand. Where else are you guys watching from? I know that you guys are watching all over the place. Um, Oregon. There's a lot of people that watch me from Oregon, Arizona, uh, Texas. So I hope you all are having a great night. Sandy says, I'm in Idaho. We got Adriel in San Diego. Uh, Cassandra in Atlanta. Marco in Santa Ana. Shelly in Nebraska. Nancy in Glendora. Lotus in the Netherlands. 
Kai's watching from Mexico? <laughs> oh my goodness, Kai, when are you coming back? We got Braxton, what's up Braxton? Hello, Hyper Kid, Catherine, Carrie Flags, John all the way in Wyoming. We got Julian in Chicago, Susan in San Jose, Violet in Pacific Northwest, Michael in Las Vegas. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here with me this evening. And uh, all right, I'm gonna set you guys up and enjoy the show, guys. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Here we go.
Disney say, Disneyland will never be complete. And as the future will show us, with enough imagination, it will continue to build and grow on one enduring promise. That all who journey into its magical gates will feel forever young. And the magic, as Walt assured us, will never end. so much for saying hi. Have an amazing night. Thank you. Okay, we got Reese and Cammy all the way from Seattle. Yeah. That is so awesome. Pretty far out, but this is so fun. I love it here so much. So. What'd yeah. you think about the fireworks? It's so amazing. I've never seen that show before. So I yeah. super cool. That's so I cool. love it so much. Well, but thank yeah. you so much for watching. Thank yes. you. Have a safe trip back home. Thank you.
走啦嘛。All right, hang in there, guys. Making our way, we're gonna try to do some big thunder here before we go watch Phantasmic at 10:30. That's my lightning link. So, give me a couple minutes here. Let me uh, make our way into Frontierland, and uh, hopefully, we can go over and enjoy some big thunder before we can squeeze in big thunder here before Phantasmic. So, let's see. Thank you so much, Mark for your super chat. Mark sends us $10 and says, fantastic. Absolutely, Mark. What an amazing night it has been. So uh, give me a couple minutes here and I'll be right back, all right? You guys, you guys uh, enjoy the crowds for a couple minutes here. Halfway there, halfway there. Know we're getting close as soon as we make it here to the Frontierland sign. Where are we walking to? Almost there. Okay, we made it here to this area finally. Now I need a couple minutes to kill because my QR code isn't uh, just ready just yet. So like, give me like a couple minutes here. We'll kill some time by checking out some pins. And I already see a new one right here. Check this one out. Here's a new Halloween pin. It matches that bowl. And this one here is $9.99. focused and let's see they also have a mystery collection $17.99 
99.99. We got some super chats. Thank you so much for the super chats. Starting off with here, uh, thank you once again, Mark. And um, also, uh, we got a super chat here from Kimmy G. Send us ten dollars and says, "Don't cry, Steve. We know you get emotional when people come up and say hi. You sure appreciate." Thank you so much, Kimmy. It's definitely so awesome to uh, meet you guys. So uh, thank you everybody who said hi to me. It's very nice to meet you. And thank you, Kimmy, for the super chat. All right, so here's a look at the uh, pin set, Winnie the Pooh Halloween pin set. This one here is $29.99. Let's see if there's anything new that I haven't shown you guys already. All right, here's a lot of new pins. Where are all these at? All right, so here's a couple of pin sets. Check this one out here. This is called One Family. This is being sold for $34.99 and you get one, you get five of them. And then you also have this Marvel one. $34.99 for the, for the Marvel one. And then you also have this one that says friends and family. We got a super chat from Mark. Send us ten dollars. Thank you, Mark. Can you please, can you please wish my mom a uh, Diane a happy birthday? She enjoyed meeting you. Oh yes, I know exactly who you guys are. I know exactly who you are. We we got to meet each other right at the exit of a haunted mansion. So Diane, I know exactly. I know exactly who you are, Diane. Big, big, big happy birthday to Diane. And it was so nice to meet you that day. I remember like it was yesterday. Hey, what's up, buddy? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Edgar. What's up, man? You want to say hi on the live show? Is it okay? We got my buddy Edgar here. Where are you visiting from, Edgar? Um, we're from Simi Valley. Simi Valley. Awesome. What's been your favorite ride today? Um, Goofy Sky School. Nice. I wanted to get on that one today, but I didn't have time. Well, thank you, Edgar, for saying hi. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, buddy. I'll see you soon, okay? Of course. See you soon, all right? Thank you for watching. All right, guys. Um, so thank you so much, Mark, for the uh, super chat there. And Diane... Happy, happy birthday to you, and uh, thank you for watching, as always. Check this out here. I got this really cool pin set here for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas theme. They only got one left. Look at that. Only one. And let's see, we also got a super chat here from uh, Fire Studios. Thank you, Fire Studios. Sends us $5. Are you watching World of Color today? Not today. But sometime soon, I, it's just, you know, the scheduling lately has been a little rough. Trying to, trying to squeeze in as many events as we can. But um, definitely by next week, things should get back to normal. So uh, thank you, Fire Studios, for the super chat. And I'm sorry we, we, we couldn't see Road of Color, you know, with the special event and then, then closing a little bit earlier than usual. It's been a little rough. But uh, we'll definitely be watching some Phantasmic here in just a little bit. Here's a look at the uh, pin board that they have. You can come over here and trade. Let's see, let me turn on the flash. Let's see, anything you guys would trade for over here, you can bring your pin and swap it out for another one that you like. And you can do this all throughout the resort. They have different stations that you can come and, you know, get, get yourself a, another pin. This is just the one that they have here. All right, let's go see here, just in case I find anything new. I think this one might be new, actually. Check this one out. The little set here. $17.99. This one right there. This one might be new. I've never seen this one before. $12.99. Check out this one here. This one's cool. I like this one a lot. I like this one here. 
$17.99. They have a couple of those there. If you like Ewoks, this is one for you. Yellow, which is $12.99. Let's see, there might be some stuff over here on this side. Let's see. Ooh, Nightmare Before Christmas pins. Yellow, $12.99. So, a good amount of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff there. Zootopia. That's so cool, Danny. I like the mayor. I like that guy a lot. That's awesome. $9.99 for the ride up in. Okay. No bubbles inside. All right, guys, I'm going to exit the store. I think uh, ooh, we're going to be cutting it close here to get on Big Thunder, but I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see. Even if we miss a little bit of the intro, uh, Fantasmic. I mean, this is really the only way to get on another ride here before the night is over, because technically we only have about one hour until um, until the park officially closes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot here. Let's get a little closer towards uh, Big Thunder. I, I think I still have to wait like five more minutes until I get my uh, barcode where I can go ahead and uh, scan in to the ride for the Lightning Lane. And with the Lightning Lane, it's pretty quick. So all of you guys that are watching, please hit the like button, guys. Let's get to 1,500, and uh, thank you for your support. <laughs> that's funny, Kimmy. That's, 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 a cool, that's a cool idea. You see there's an awesome Columbia ship there in the back getting ready for the uh, second show of Fantasmic. All right, so this is what we're gonna get on, Big Thunder, but let me just double check here just to check if the QR code is. All right, so right now we're just gonna wait here a little bit, like uh, two more minutes until this code finally pops up. So I'm just gonna kind of get in line here. So that way, as soon as I get it, I'll be able to be in line already. So thank you for waiting here with me. Meanwhile, my pass gets ready to be redeemed. Okay. All right, we'll wait right here. 
Alex is how do lightning lanes work? So it, this lightning lane is a Genie Plus one. And uh, pretty much you just book it on the app. It's all done on the Disneyland app. So make sure you download it before you get here. And uh, you'll be able to book lightning lanes as soon as you purchase the uh, Genie Plus service. Let's see. All right, one more minute, one more minute. All right, I got it, guys. I got the code. So uh, we're just going to scan in here real fast, and then we'll get on the ride. Perfect timing here. All right, guys, give me one second. All right, cool. And we are in the lightning lane now. So let's hope that this doesn't backfire on us and we miss out on the Phantasmic show. I don't think we will, but I mean, the worst comes to worst, we might miss the beginning of it. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a trade-off that we have to do here in order to to be able to get on a ride. Because, you know, like I said, the, the park's going to close here very soon. So thank you for your patience, everybody. The good thing is that the lightning line is moving very fast right now. And also, guys, please do me the biggest favor and uh, remind me to, once we get closer to like 11.30 midnight, remind me to uh, plug in the, the charger here because I know I'll probably forget. So definitely remind me to uh, plug it in. That way we can have some extra juice. That way we can, uh, you know, nothing will die. Not the phone won't die. We got a super chat here from Justin sends us five dollars, letting my daughter stay up past her bedtime to watch you ride Big Thunder. Shout out to Gabby and Maddie from Arizona. Gabby and Maddie, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, Gabby and Maddie, all the way from Arizona. Hope you're ready to enjoy the Big Thunder right here in just a couple minutes. And uh, thank you so much, and to your awesome dad, Justin. He's letting you guys enjoy. So thank you for the super chat. And we also got one here from uh, AJ. Dublin sent us $5. Hey, Steve and friends. Thank you, as always, for going live at Disney. And also thank you to the moderators. Thank you, AJ Dublin. Thank you for watching this evening. And definitely has been a, a, great, a great stream so far. We got to start off over at DCA, checking out the crowds with the uh, event that's happening, the, the special private event. We even got to get a, a pretty pretty good spot for the uh, Turtle Talk with Crush show, which was totally unexpected because I got there very late and I was able to get a spot in the, in the front there. There was just one chair open. So. And, but all right, here we go. We're moving on. Thank you, AJ. Definitely a hot night. I'm so happy that I didn't bring 
like an extra sweater or something because it's hot. Let's see, what does it say? It says it's 73, but definitely feels a bit warm, like maybe, sep you know, high 70s, I would say. You can definitely feel the humidity too. It's like, it's kind of humid. It feels cool. All right, we're close. We're getting closer. We're getting pretty close. You guys can see there goes the uh, ride vehicles up there. We got a super chat here from Osana. Thank you so much, Osana. Sends us five dollars whenever I feel down. Steve is always online to cheer me up. Thank, thank you so much, Steve, for the live streams. Well, thank you so much for sending me a super chat and sharing that with me. Always makes me so happy whenever I can um, share with you guys beautiful Disneyland here. So, thank you, Osana. And I'm happy that uh, you enjoy watching the live streams here with me. Thank you so much. Patricia says, I live in Fresno. 77 would be a dream. <laughs> What's the temperature over in Fresno? I put it past the uh... What's up, Carrie Flags? Good to see you in here. Thank you for joining. What's up, Rob? Hello, Holly Rice. go here to the left side it always seems to move a little bit quicker oh, look at that today is the same today that seems to be the case what's up a class yella thank you for saying hi it was nice to meet you Martin says it's 91 in Mesa, Arizona. Oh my goodness, Martin. Definitely warm over there in the in the Arizona. Janessa says Arizona is humid right now too. Yeah, it's it's a little humid here in Calo in Anaheim right now. That's right, Danny Fogg. Thank you for reminding me. Make sure that you guys are watching this live stream in uh, 1080p. That way, once we get on the ride, everything looks as clear as possible. All right, about 20 minutes until Phantasmic starts. We're really cutting it close here. But it will be worth it. At least we're able to do another ride before the night is over. Maybe I can even squeeze in pirates in the train. We'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, here we go. Walking up the stairs now. Here we go. Let's see if I can get the back. Oh, 
All right, so I wasn't able to get the back. They said I was gonna have to wait a little bit. And uh, obviously tonight, I I can't wait. I have to get on over to see Fantasmic. So we got row nine, which is still, it's kind of in the middle. So we'll still be able to get a good, a good view here of everything. Row nine. <laughs> Magically Kai executive decision. There you go. I had to make an executive decision here. Go ahead and uh, up on row number nine. <laughs> here comes here comes our ride. All right, guys, here we go. Enjoy the ride. After this, we're going to run over and see some, not going to run, but we're going to walk as fast uh, to see Fantasmic at 1030. So we're on crunch time here. But um, at least we'll be able to ride some Big Thunder before the night is over. So here we go.
what do you guys think? Pretty awesome, right? Okay. Good thing is that we got about 11 minutes here to make it over to the Fantasmic viewing area so we can watch Fantasmic. Oh man. I'm kind of starting to figure out this, you know, closing by 11 schedule here. So I think by the third night, I'm getting the hang of it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Big thunder. And uh, that's all thanks to the lightning lane because uh, without the Genie Plus, it would, have been, it would have been a little tough to get on this ride. The regular standby is almost at an hour, I think. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna start walking over towards the Rivers of America area. And also, thank you everybody for hitting the like button. All right, so here we are passing the Golden Horseshoe. A little bit of a line for the churros. This popcorn cart seems to be... Oh, they're still selling popcorn here. They even have a little, a little queue here set up today. Wow. All right, here we go. You can see all this area is already occupied. Here for Fantasmic. Second showing of Fantasmic. A couple of people sitting up here for uh, viewing at Riverbell Terrace. I wonder if these spots are like first come, first serve. I don't know. Because there's some chairs available there. Definitely something to ask in for the future. As you can see, there's a couple of spots here. I'll ask later on. And uh, as soon as we finish up with the Fantasmic, I'll do my best to run over and try to squeeze in some Pirates of the Caribbean, as you can see, because it's right, it's right in the area. So I'll try to squeeze in here for the ride. Even this ride has a little bit of a line here this evening. All right, guys, here we go. About seven minutes uh, until this game gets started. And then from there, we'll be good to go. Thank you. 
Thank you, Justin, for the reminder. Let's see, let me let me check it here. It's at uh, 35, 35%. After the show, we'll go ahead and plug it in. After the, once, once the show's over, I'll go ahead and plug it, plug it in. Right now, I think we should be good to go, but once the show's over, I'll go ahead and plug it in.
Welcome to Fantasmic. Tonight, our friend and host, Mickey Mouse, uses his vivid imagination to create magical imagery for all to enjoy. In a moment, you can experience a beautiful fantasy or an exciting adventure. But beware, nothing is more powerful than the imagination, for it can also expand your greatest fears into an overwhelming nightmare. We now invite you to join Mickey and experience Phantasmic, a journey beyond your wildest imagination.
safety back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, right, where are you from? What's your name? Uh, well, uh, I don't think you quite realize what you've got. Here. Can your friends do this? <laughs> Can your friends do that? Look at that. Can your friends pull this? Out their little hands. Can your friends go? Woo! Friends do be here.
time, yet they're always surprised. Pirates. This is the day you will always remember as the day you almost fought. Captain.
evil I call. <laughs> you have the power to control him, mind. <laughs> <laughs> I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding, but they called me well over. <laughs> Ursula will turn matters into her own tentacles. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is mine. <laughs> I'll see him wriggle like a worm on a hole!
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed Fantasmic. That was pretty awesome, right? I'm happy that we were able to uh, squeeze in Big Thunder there while we were waiting for the Big Thunder, uh, for the Fantasmic show. Okay, right now, what we're gonna do is, uh, Disneyland's about to close in about three minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and do one, one more ride here, Pirates of the Caribbean, and then hopefully, I mean, hopefully, by the, if, we, if we get off in time, this would be so perfect if we can uh, get on the train. I mean, I don't know if we'll make it in time, but we'll definitely give it a shot. Either way, we'll get on the. Either way, we're gonna get on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean here. And also, thank you so much uh, for the super chats. I'm gonna say a big thank you here to you guys. Um, so thank you so much, everybody who sent me a super chat. You guys are awesome. Man. Uh, give me one second here. Let me uh, get situated here on the ride, and uh, once we exit, I'm gonna say a big thank you to you. So let's get, oh yes, I need to charge my phone. Thank you for reminding me, Justin. Give me one second here. Well, it's gonna get a little shaky maybe. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in here. That way uh, we're good to go here for the rest of the night. I also wanna check out Road to Disney here at some point. So hopefully you guys are, are cool with that. Stephanie, you're so awesome. Thank you so much, Stephanie. A big thank you in advance, but I know you sent me other ones, so once we get off the ride here, I promise I'm going to say a big thank you to you. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I 
Can't you reach any further, you stumbling bilge rat? Right? inside the boat and watch your children and remember no flash pictures now off with you bienvenidos marineros para su seguridad permanezcan sentados con las manos gracias everybody I hope you enjoyed the awesome ride here Pirates of the Caribbean we got to enjoy it right before Disneyland closed now right now I'm gonna walk over here just in case 
the train is still here. I mean, it's already 11, 18. Yeah, the train's already gone, which was, uh, man, we missed it again. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. The Pirates ride took a little bit longer than expected, but uh, it's okay. We'll definitely try to do it maybe tomorrow. Right now, we're going to take a quick little walk here through. Yeah, you can see they already set up the ropes over here, so... They're pretty much done for the night. Let's get a quick look here at uh, the Haunted Mansion and see if we can check out any progress. Ooh, wow. A lot of progress over here, actually. A lot of progress has been made here in this area. You can see there's now pumpkins and all kinds of decor here on the mansion. And then let's see if we can check out anything here at the entrance. Some lights are turned on in there now. Here's another view right here that you can see. Some of the pumpkins up there. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And also, I wanted to say a big thank you here to a couple super chats. So I have them here in my little folder. And I wanna say a big thank you here to uh, Stephanie who sends me a $20 super chat. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, pretty much a $55 super chat. So thank you, Stephanie, for the $55 super chat that is so nice of you and I am very very appreciative that you sent it you, you kind of sent them there as we were doing Fantasmic and Pirates so Stephanie you are awesome I appreciate your super chat so I'm happy that you're in here enjoying the, the live stream tonight and uh, check this out here you can see Jack is ready to go September 2nd this will be opening up that's what it looks like right here. Let me see if the flash will help out a little bit. That'd probably help you help out a little bit here on the view, but look how cool Jack looks. So, looks pretty cool, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start making our way over towards Main Street now. We're gonna walk down this way. And I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, plug you guys back in here to the to the charger because I had to uh, unplug you guys for a little bit. Meanwhile, I was on the ride, but I'm gonna plug you guys back in here. So give me one second. It's gonna get a little bumpy. It'll just be one second. But yeah, the park's now officially closed. Look at all the work that's going on over at Tarzan. They have lights everywhere over there. Wow.
All right, cool guys. So we're all plugged into the charger. We're good to go here. And right now, we're just gonna go hang out on Main Street for a little bit. And uh, you can see this is where we saw Phantasmic. We're gonna start heading back down this way. And it is still early, it's 11.23. So we're just gonna go over to Main Street, see if we can check out some new things and uh, just walk around a little bit, see what we can uh, enjoy here for the last uh, hour that uh, Main Street, uh, that uh, Main Street will be open. And also, thank you everybody for hitting the thumbs up on this live stream. I appreciate you guys. So, if you can uh, continue to hit the like button, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a change as of lately because you know the park's been closing a lot earlier, so we don't go till till that late. But and definitely a, a little bit of a change. I've definitely been getting some good sleep. <laughs> Look at the pin trading going on over here. Some this is some legit pin trading going on here because uh, I showed you guys yesterday, you know, a little bit of what they had. I mean, these are pins that are pretty cool you know these are not the the pins that i mean those are some really cool pins over there if you guys want to do some pin trading frontierland would be the area to do it because they got some cool stuff there all right let's see here let's go stare at the castle for just a little bit and uh admire its beauty for a couple for a couple minutes there and then uh we'll head on over to main street all the rides are closed now, so you know we can't got it. We can't get on anything anymore, but we can definitely just kind of walk around for a little bit. There it is. The awesome castle. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh oh, I just found out my shoes are, or my shoes are untied. So give me one second, I'm gonna tie my shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys here for a little bit. Enjoy the view here for a couple minutes. What do you think? Should I zoom it in more or, should, or do you guys like the view there? Or I, I can always zoom it back out too. What do you guys think? Is, is the view perfect there or should I zoom it in a little bit more? Sorry about that, guys. That was my fault.
All right, sorry about all the shakiness, guys. I'm over here uh, bumping into the trash can and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> sorry about that. My fault. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, continue our journey here. Let's stop by uh, a little bit of Plaza Point, maybe do some shops on Main Street and uh, just see what else we can enjoy here on the way out of Disneyland. So you can see there is Tomorrowland looking pretty cool with all the lighting and everything. I really hope the People Mover comes back. I'll keep an eye out on the announcements, maybe D23, which is coming up in September. Maybe they announce some news over there. So right now, walking back over here to Main Street, we're gonna check out the store here on the left, which is uh, Plaza Point just in case there's anything in there that I want to show you guys. Let's go take a look. Uh, hey, what's up, Lori? Thank you for watching. <laughs> and here we are, you can see all the people here on Main Street that are uh, doing shopping or they're just uh, hanging out. Let's check out Plaza Point. This is the newest shop here on Main Street. Last time, we got to see some pretty cool stuff over here. Let's see what we can find today. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's not for sale, but they have it like as decor. have a lot of the uh, hand soap dispensers and the wreaths down there let's go see what else a lot of the candles the candle holders Ooh, check these out these are cool so these are kitchen towels these are being sold for $19.99 you only get one and there's a look at the at the towel. Got a Mickey pumpkin down there. So this is something brand new. Never shown you guys this before. And I can tell that there's water on the lens because it looks a little foggy to me. So I'm gonna have to clean the lens here. I think we got water on the lens uh, on the when we were in Pirates of the Caribbean. So they got some new. Halloween kitchen towels, which are pretty cool. And let's go ahead and uh, continue walking down this way a little bit. Hey, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jared. Yeah. Nice to meet you, nice Jared. Nice to meet you, Steve. Thanks for showing me. Of course. Thank you for saying hi. Yeah. See you. Have a good night. Thank you. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this before. What do you guys think? Have I shown you this before? Maybe I have, actually. Oh, yeah, I have. $19.99. This is the uh, little pot with a little hole there on the... And then also here's the the cup right here. I've shown you guys this cup before, but just in case you haven't seen it before, $24.99. They have a couple of those here inside China Closet. Also, they have a couple more of the floor mats right here. These are being sold for $34.99. Also, Crystal, you can find that. Oh, no, you know what? No, they moved it out of Disney Showcase, but they have a little bit of it here. There's more. There's more to it, though. Th this is just a little bit of it. There, uh, I would check um, the Disney homes, the Disney uh, dress shop in downtown Disney. I think they had more, more of it, too. But here's a little bit of the, of the stuff they have here. They also have the, the notebook. It's uh, just blank pages on the inside. And then here is something that you can put on your wall. This is being sold for $29.99. So, 
They have a couple of those there. Originally, they had the whole collection at uh, Disney Showcase. Okay, let's walk this way a little bit. All right, so far one thing new. Let's continue walking through the store, see if I can find something else. Oh, I see something else. This is here in the uh, Disney coffee area section. And uh, this is a new button up shirt. It's very soft. Give me a second here while I Go ahead and, there we go, okay. There was an extra large, I just wanted to put it to the back. Okay, so here you can see, here's a new shirt. This one's being sold for, let's see, uh, $59.99. There's a look at the print. Has buttons all throughout the middle, a little bit of a collar, and it does have a pocket there. Here's a look at the back. Has the same print all throughout it there. So this is something definitely brand new. Never shown you guys this before. So this is inside of uh, uh, Disney Claudia's in the men's section. Okay, let's see what else I can show you guys. Oh, I think this... No, I've shown you guys this hat before. It's for adults. 29... Oh, $27.99. Oh, usually these are $29.99. This one here is $27. Let's see, what else do they have over here? They have more of the Stitch Spear jerseys. These are the soft spear jerseys. There's a look at the front. And let's see, what else can I show you? Check out this cool hat for adults. There's a look at the back. $29.99 for this one here. Okay, we'll do a quick little walkthrough of this section. Oh look, here's more of the Jasmine stuff. They have the bag here, $98, I'm sorry. And uh, as you can see, here's a look at the other side. And then they also have more of the notebooks and then they also have the headbands here. These are being sold for $29.99. They have a couple of them right here. Okay. Let me continue walking down this way. Is this new? I don't think so. It's like a, it's like a jean jacket, but with little minis on it. I'll show it to you anyway, just in case it is new. $69.99. No, you know what? I think I've, I think I've shown you that before. Okay, we'll go ahead and exit this store here. And you can see here's a better look at all the Halloween decor as gone up here on Main Street. 
By the way, that jean jacket was for adults. You can see there's pumpkins here right on top of Crystal Arcade, which is pretty much the Emporium. It's all one big section. But there you can see right there, there's the pumpkins. They look so cool. Yeah, that's a good one, sprinkle, sprinkle of us candy corn. And then here in the windows, you can see there's pumpkins and stuff all throughout the windows. This one seems to be maybe a barbershop, a barbershop pumpkin. It's kind of shaving his beard or something. There's many pumpkins all throughout this area here. Let's check out this one. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna clean the lens because it looks a little foggy and I hate that. Uh, we got some water on the lens when we were on Pirates, so give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, that's a lot better there. <laughs> the pirate water got on the lens, so. Anyways, we're back. We're back. We're back. Good to go here. Okay, so there's a look at another display there. Let me uh, go ahead and walk in through here, and let's see what they got. Anything new? I'll show it to you guys. Here you can see they have the Halloween years that arrived a couple of days ago. They also have a lot of this design right here. These are all twenty nine ninety nine for adults, of course. They also have uh, a couple of these in stock, only small and extra small for the crew necks. I have noticed though, like if you really want one, I would say come in the morning because in the morning they tend to have more availability on the sizing. By the end of the night, they're kind of running a little low. They don't have any more sizes, man. I already, I already asked my hell. They said that maybe at one of the stores. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you here for a while or no? Nah. I was going to say because earlier, I don't know what size you are, but uh, in the in the back of the store in the fantasy land, they had uh, sizes of uh, small, medium, XL, and double XL. Oh, they got a couple more over there? Yeah, but that's like, the store is closed now, but it's in the back of fantasy land. Hey, thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it. So, they had a couple more. Somebody just told me they had a couple more sizing available all the way by the store over in fantasy land by, uh, by that area. So, maybe you guys can go over and check, check that area for really looking for that sweater. Also inside of uh, World of Disney, they have a couple of them there. $54.99 here for the countdown calendar. A couple more of the Reese. These here are like 50 bucks. And just be careful though, because what I've noticed is that the, the, the glue isn't so strong. You can see this one here is missing uh, the daisy part right there, you can see. So that happened to me one time over at World of Disney. One of them was defective. So make sure you check if you're getting this one that all the pieces are there. Let's see, what else can I show you guys? Let's do a lap this way. So we'll go like, we'll go around and then, you know, we'll go from there. Oh, check this out. So they have more of the Crocs over here. These are not the Halloween Crocs, but they definitely have like this tie-dye Crocs. These are for adults. They also have them for kids. These are uh, $59.99. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at this ear wall. All the ears that they have available here. Lot of different choices for you and up here as well you can see here's 
These are all for adults. A couple different choices of the uh, Baby Yoda ears. You can see there's that one right there. These are $39.99. And then there's a couple more choices over here. And then there's a couple. Oh, these are kind of popular. These are like the things that hold the ears. Kai, always, Kai has one of these and she likes using it from time to time. So she puts it on her backpack every now and then. Here's a look at these ears. And they also have the Pirates of the Caribbean right here. These here are, I think these, yeah, these are $40. These are lounge fly. And let's see, here's a look at some hats. Change your world hat. $29.99. Stitch was here hat. Small world hat. All for adults. Okay. Let's start making our way towards this way a little bit. I'm looking, I'm looking, just, to, just checking to see if I find anything that's like you know, brand new that I've never shown you guys before. That's what I'm looking for right now. So I'm just kind of strolling on by here. Mm, everything there I've shown you. Want to see some pins? A rewind to right after we got into Frontierland and I showed you all of the new pins that I found inside uh, that store right there. Um, they, I was inside this store. They, they have them behind a display case, so it's kind of hard to see because there's a reflection. But um, rewind to when I entered like Frontierland after the fireworks. Uh, there's that pin store in Frontierland, and uh, I was able to show you a lot of really cool pins in that store. Oh, I found something new. I found something very, very brand new. Very, very brand new. Oh, you guys are gonna like this. Who here likes pillows? Hey, I follow you. I follow you. I see you all the time. I'm like, I don't want to interrupt this live. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying hi. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, it was good to see you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. So, check this out here. Two things that are brand new. We'll start off with a little baggie. This here is a uh, Disney Parks launch fly bag this is being sold for seventy dollars you can see it's more of that that 3d stuff there and uh, there's a look at the back now I'm pretty sure it does come with straps but they're gonna be on the inside there and I'm kind of one-handed right now so but it does come with the strap you can see there's the thing to put them in right there so this is brand new pretty awesome never before sh never shown you this before First time showing you here, so. And then here's the next thing. This is gonna be 
I guess the highlight of the night. So, who here likes pillows? Cause look at the look at the beautiful color on this pillow here. I mean, talk about a beautiful color. This is like I don't know. It's like a it's like a purple, but it's it's not your regular purple. This is like a it's a really nice purple right here. So, Madame Leota. Here's a look at the tag right there, and this glows in the dark. I would love to see that. So let's flip it around here. Oh, that's so cool. Uh oh. Look at that. Any Haunted Mansion fans? I like to talk about a really cool pillow. This is being sold only 30 bucks. I thought it'd be, I honestly thought it'd be more, but it's $30. You know, you can also get a Magic Key discount, of course. This is cool. I actually like this pillow. I really, I really like the pillow. So, there's another look right there. All right, guys, that was the big highlight of the night. <laughs> the brand new pillow that I really, really like. So, I think that is awesome. And I almost missed it, but I was able to find it. It's right here inside of the Emporium. You can see where all of the uh, other Halloween stuff is at. It'll be right down there. You have to kind of look for it, but you'll be able to find it because of that beautiful purple color. Yeah, it glows in the dark. I know, right? It's crazy. I'm going to take a photo of this here. All right, cool. So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed taking a look here at some of the new merchandise that has arrived. Oh, this is also something new. This is the little uh, baby Grogu uh, floor mat. This arrived, I think a couple days ago. So I showed you the original floor mat and then this is the newest one that has arrived. Now this one lights up. I think you have to like step on it pretty hard, but it does light up. There's no price on it, but I think it was like $40. So they have a couple of these here, uh, some, somewhere throughout over there, throughout one of those uh, stands, displays. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and exit now. So let me go back down this way a little bit and show you guys a little bit of Main Street. As you can see, who knows? Maybe tomorrow is the big day where uh, the big pumpkin arrives. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. All right, we definitely have time to go check out some World of Disney. So let's start making our way over to the World of Disney store. And let's go see what's going on over there. By the way, how many likes are we at? I know there, there's, there's almost there's almost 1,500 of you guys in here. So definitely please hit the thumbs up on this live. We're going to World of Disney. I hope you guys are excited to go check out some merch over there. And uh, this, this, this adventure still continues. Disneyland's closing up for the night, but let's head on over to World of Disney and, uh, or you know what? Oh my goodness, guys, you're gonna have to forgive me. I gotta check if World of Disney's still open. Give me one second here. We'll walk by it at least. If it's still open, then we'll go inside. But it's 12 a.m. It literally just turned 12 a.m. So let me double check here.
Ah oh, man, it's just 12 a.m. Putty says they might be open because of the event. You know what? That might be true. So let's at least go over there and and uh, give it a shot. At least we'll give it a shot. And then also I'm gonna update you guys here on Oogie Boogie, see if he, if he has turned on or not. How many, how many likes are we at? Deanna. Oh, don't worry, Deanna. I have so many awesome little uh, pictures here of a little lady. I just have to share them with you. Have a good night, thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's see. Let's go check out the uh, Oogie Boogie here. You can see he's still not lit up. 1.7. Oh man, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. Only 300 more. Only 300 more likes and we'd get there. I definitely think we can do it here by the end of the night. So everybody, thank you so much for hitting the like button. Only 300 more likes and we'll get to 2000. I think that'd be so awesome if we can get there. Let me give you a little close up here. You can see a lot of people are still inside of Disney California Adventure. Uh, for the uh, private event a couple of people exiting but there's still people inside you know getting on rides and things like that they have like cool music playing I can hear it here from the outside but there's a look at Oogie Boogie still uh, the lights are not turned on but hopefully soon they'll go ahead and uh, turn on those lights here sometime can't wait to show you guys with all the really cool lighting that uh, he gets the little the little pumpkin here does have some lights but there's a look at it there so there is a private event going on at DCA if you guys missed it don't worry just rewind all the way here to the beginning of this live stream and I talk all about it I talk all about uh uh, about uh, what's going on. You can see here some of the uh, ticketing booths here on the on the left here for the event check-in. Still some lights turned on there, but you can see here on the Esplanade, it's already kind of kind of wrapping up for the night. You can see here's a look everywhere. Yeah, I've always wondered how do you how do you get tickets to this? <laughs> I think it might be one of those things where you, like, you uh, you listen to the radio, and like you you have to call in or something like that. That's what I'm assuming, but I don't know. All right, let's go check if World of Disney's still open. Hopefully it is, because that'd be pretty cool if I can go in there and show you guys some new merch. Let's go take a look. Mm. Let's see. Oh no, it looks to be closed. Oh no. Ah oh, man, guys. Dang. We missed it. We definitely missed it. We missed our window of uh, being able to get in there. It's okay. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll definitely be back here. By the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not earlier this week, but I'm live streaming every single day this week. Uh, every single day. Um, I didn't stream Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the way until Sunday, I will be going live. So I, if any of you guys didn't know, I will be live streaming every single day. Obviously, I didn't go live Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I will be live at some point. So make sure to have your post notifications turned on here so that way you don't miss when I start up a new live stream. And uh, don't you worry, that's right, Corella. Don't you worry, we're gonna be back here and uh, we're gonna have to head inside of World of Disney as a, as a priority because 
Uh, I definitely want to go in there and, and see all the new merch. But we did get to see a lot of cool stuff over inside Disneyland. I think we got to see a lot of awesome, uh, like the pillow and all the Halloween things. Okay, who here wants to go on the trams? Any of you guys want to go on the trams? I'll be more than happy to take you guys on. Let me know here in the chat if you guys uh, are down to come on the, 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 the Disneyland trams with me here. We would have to go get in line here, as you can see. It's a little bit on the busier side today, but if you guys are okay with waiting, I'll be more than happy to bring you guys along. Okay, I got some, some okay, I got some thumbs up in the chat. Let's do it. Just giving you guys a little warning. We might have to wait a little bit. So uh, thank you for being patient. <laughs> but here we go. We'll, we'll get on the trams to kind of finish off the night here. So here we are, walking into the little waiting area. And current time it is 12.06, so just past midnight. And I wonder if they're using both sides. If they are using both sides, then we might have, then we might have some better luck going all the way down to the very very end over there but let's see let's give this let's let's see what's going on here you can see trams are still arriving over here and i'm pretty sure the trams are going to be running here uh, for the next couple hours because earlier today getting onto the mickey and parking at the mickey and friend structure was oh my goodness guys it was a mission in itself it was packed it was very, very busy to park, so I'm assuming all the people that went to the private event also parked at the structure. So there'll definitely be some trams here as the night continues. I think they are using the other side, so let's walk all the way down there and let's go get in line over in that section. It's a big hack if you guys are ever wondering where is the shorter lines now during peak times this won't work because even over here in this area you'll see some big lines but you can see here in this side all the lines are pretty short which is pretty awesome you can go right here oh no we'll find a spot over here Or we can always wait for the next one. We got a super chat here from Kimmy G. Sends us $5. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate you. Don't forget to get some some sleep between all the all the streaming fun. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sending me a super chat. And uh, happy to see you in here. All right. Enjoy the ride. Thank you, Kimmy G.
this time there will be no more boarding if you and your party have not yet crossed that yellow safety line. Please do not do so. There will be another tram here shortly. For my guests on board, this tram is getting ready to depart, so please remain seated with those doors closed. And driver, you are cleared. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving, and supervise your children. Para su seguridad, su favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Please hold on to hats, glasses, or any loose items that could fall from the tram. If an article should fall, please stay seated until the next stop and inform the nearest cast member. Thank you. For your safety, please remain seated with those doors closed until this tram comes to a full and complete stop. And I have indicated it is safe to exit to the driver's right hand side, and that will be the driver's right hand side only. Once again, folks, please remain seated with those doors closed until the tram comes to a full and complete stop. And I have indicated it is safe to exit to the driver's right hand side and the driver's right hand side only. At this time, you may gather your belongings, lower your head, and walk your steps. All right, everybody. What an amazing night we had here at Disneyland. So much fun. And, you know, even though we were kind of limited on time, I feel like we still had an uh, awesome, successful night. And uh, we did a, as many rides as we could, to be honest. And, and we even got to see some Turtle Talk with Crush. I mean, let me just tell you guys what we did. We started off over in DCA. We did Turtle Talk with Crush. From there, we went over and did Soren. I can't even believe we got to do Soren too. And then after Soren, what else did we do? After Soren, we went over. We saw the Mean Street Electrical Parade, and we saw the parade from a legit view. Like it was a really good view. After the parade, we saw the fireworks. They didn't get canceled. After the fireworks, we got to check out the really cool crowds on Main Street. Walked into Frontierland. We saw some really cool pins at the little pin store. And then from there, we even got to go on Big Thunder. After Big Thunder, we saw Fantasmic. 
then we got on to Pirates of the Caribbean. After Pirates, we kind of made our way to the castle, saw the beautiful castle, made it back to Main Street. We saw a couple of new merch items that I've never shown you guys before uh, on, on, on Main Street. So that was pretty cool. And then we, tr we gave, you know, we did, we, we tried giving a World of Disney a shot. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make it, but that's okay. We'll be back. I'll definitely be back here tomorrow. So who knows if it's going to be in the morning, in the evening. We'll see. Make sure to please have your post notifications turned on. That way you can, hopefully YouTube can notify you as soon as I start the stream. Uh, another way to find out is on Instagram. I always do a, a quick post, like literally as soon as I go live and in my instagram is theme park steve just like my youtube channel so thank you so much everybody you guys are seriously so awesome i'm so lucky to have you guys in here and uh hang out with me here on this beautiful thursday everybody that sent me a super chat thank you so much for supporting me and making these live streams possible everybody who hit the like button thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up on this live stream you guys are seriously so awesome and everybody that's new here that maybe just subscribe or maybe you're uh somebody watching for the first time i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you here some uh i hope to see you here very soon thank you so much guys have an amazing night thank you to my moderators for helping me and i hope you guys get some good sleep get some good rest i'm gonna go home and i go give uh little lady dior a big hug <laughs> little poppy little lady lady dior go give them all a big hug even roy and uh they're gonna smother me with some kisses <laughs> get some good sleep guys i hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for spending your evening with me and i'll see you guys very very soon get some good rest guys have an amazing night bye everybody.